my cabin, programming up the uh, order positions on my Easy B, and I just thought I'd show you where I was with it all. So here's a, um, an image of the on my other screen there of the order position settings for the the main body of the robot, um, and you can bring in as you can see if we bring in the actual servo points. Um, those these relate to the actual servos. Uh, if we go into port edit, you can see the servo numbers. So, for example, left elbow is servo 19, which you just you just you can just select them on here. Um, I've created this graphic just so to make it a bit easier because when you're actually editing, um, rather than in edit mode, when you're actually editing the the positions, um, you take that out and you don't see the uh, server positions necessarily written because you'll then be just moving the servos themselves and it can get a bit confusing which ones relates to which so by having a little text next to it um, I thought that was just a bit easier particularly on the hands as well you can see this is going to be thumb and then the, you know, the various fingers across there um, so just going back into the edit mode you don't want to be in edit mode when you're adjusting these because you can accidentally drag the uh, uh, server graphic away so having that off you can just directly control them. Um, all all this is is uh, just a graphic that I imported, um, picture of the move, and uh, copied it into a spreadsheet in this case, and just used some spreadsheet um, graphics onto it. And these are just spreadsheet boxes with text in them. Um, you can obviously use paint or whatever you've got there, but it just made life, a, um, I think, a bit easier. The other one I've done, which will be the order position number two, which is that one. This has got the eyes and jaw and stomach rotate and tilt. The reason these are not on auto position one is these are on easy B, uh, the second easy B unit because I ran out of port uh, allocations on the first unit. Um, it's not a good idea, I, th I think, to have one easy B do the left hand side and another one do the right hand side because you're going to have the problem of not seeing everything on one auto position screen. Uh, so you, you have to be working with two screens, whereas this way you can see the whole robot do something on the one screen. Admittedly, as I say, I haven't got the eyes or the rotate, but at least I've got the arms and the hands and, and the, 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 head, um, the head rotate on that one anyway, and the, and the tilt. Uh, I haven't got the body rotate or the torso uh, left and right. Uh, or the eyes, but they're on the other unit. But at least I've got the hands, uh, so that's pretty much the whole unit on this auto position panel. So I just thought I'd show you how I went about uh, doing that. So uh, I'll do that now. So we've just got a uh, a fresh screen here. So just get rid of that. Um, if we open up, uh, what we'll do is we'll go into projects add controls we want to add in the um, auto position panel which is that one um, we'll put in well I've only got um, let's just put in one for the moment because uh, we'll just do the head in this position so if you go into this page you've got your blank screen Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put in a, a background image. Um, so if we go, I've got some, as I say, I've got these pre-made um, images on here. So that was my uh, head. So I've got eyes, jaw, uh, and tilt of the body and stomach rotate on that one. Um, and eyes up and down. I'm not actually connecting the eyes up and down on my robot. I'm just going left and right, but they're on there anyway. Um, we need to add some servos to this. So to do that, you've got a sort of a default um, uh, marker point on, on here. Um, if you don't uh, touch that, you're not going to get any live. Um, um, it's all going to be grayed out here. But anyway, so if we add servos, uh, we can just, I'm just going to put them on here. Note, if you keep pressing add, they, they stack up behind that point. So you've got another one there. So just, just be aware. We'll put one in for jaw servo, but uh, the talk server, but that's going to be controlled actually elsewhere. But we'll just put him in there. We've got one for tilt, and we've got one for stomach rotate. 
we now need to um we'll, we'll put one in for eyes down just so you can see how it's going to work so these ones are going to uh we we need to allocate these servos to these uh server positions within the uh within the unit so we're just going to save that because i just want to show you something else also in settings here we've got our board number this is my sec um you've got the device number so you can have up to five devices uh, that's the first device number one is the second device this is my second device that I'm um, the way I've got it configured because the first one's got the main body in so I just thought I'd quickly go back and look at that uh, we now want to if we just hit see that they're, they're not appearing there because if we just hit stand they will reappear if we hit edit we're going to make that d14 so just hit that it's going to come up there press close that's going to be d12 close this is going to be d13 press close you can see why it's actually much more helpful actually having it written on the graphics here as well that's d23 the reason it's not 22 is i've got a slight fault on my servo on my easy b and 22 isn't working for some reason um this is going to be 21 so we've allocated 21 12 14 and 13 Okay, we've now got the server positions added into the uh, into the move graphic. Just if we remove that, we can just um, not worry about moving these around. We can just adjust the actual server positions. We're now going to put some frames in. The frames will give us a snapshot of positional movements of that page. So, for example, if we put a new frame in, and we're going to go eyes left. put a, new, a couple of frames then we'd also have eyes forward eyes right so that's going to give us three different positions of the eyes and so at that point we're going to be using the eyes left and right d14 that survey so they're all at 90 at the moment, as you can see. But say we want to go uh, eyes forward is going to stay at 90. Eyes left, we're going to change this position. Now, I can't remember if we go up or down to go eyes left. So we're just going to go to 45. And when we plug it into the uh, so, um, into the movie, we can just check it. So because I'm actually online at the moment. So if we do 45, we've taken 45 off on the eyes left. If we go eyes right, let's go up to 135. So we've now got, if we go back to eyes forward, it's going to flick back to 90. So that's facing forward. If we go to eyes left, it's going to go to the 45. Eyes right, it's going to go to the 135. Nothing else on that page has changed. So the only thing that's going to move on that, on those snapshots effectively, or frames, are going to be the eyes so beware that if you're changing anything else and you're changing the eyes other actions are going to be changed at the same time so that's how we can do multiple actions within that frame so we've changed a few different things there stand as again is is effectively default not moving um, if we now go into actions those positions have been added in as frames we may now want to create an action which could be a multiple set of frames so if we say action new action but for the moment we'll just say eyes forward these become highlighted here we'll add in a few new actions here so we'll, what we're going to do is we'll just keep them simple so our action will be just the use of a single frame for the minute Okay, then we'll put in eyes right. So we've now got three poss possible actions. So forward 
and within that eyes forward action we would want obviously eyes to go forward so we'll highlight that frame that we did here Eyes forward, which is 90. Eyes left was, um, eyes right, 135. Eyes left, 45. So back to the action. Eyes forward, highlight the frame and just add it into here. So we've now created a scripts line, which is basically called eyes forward. We've got a delay, which is a time delay, which you can see here is how long to wait between, uh, before positions of a frame. Um, the steps is uh, how many degrees to move between the positions of a frame. So if you just, uh, when you're doing this, if you just go through these yourself, and then we've got speed. So um, back to that delay one there, for example. So that's given us uh, delay, step, speed, and a script. Uh, and uh, it's not a full script. In other words, we haven't added any script into that. We've just said move that particular survey. We're now we'll do eyes left hit that add that do eyes right hit that add that so we've now got three potential movements sitting in there we can combine a few different movements so if we create a new action We could then say, for example, let's put an eyes forward to begin with. We could then do eyes left and then add in a pause. We can then do eyes right, add in a pause, put another pause in there for the second and push that pause up. So we've got eyes forward. We then wait 25 milliseconds, eyes left, another pause eyes right another pause if we wanted this to loop we could just hit action and it would just loop around and around and around 25 milliseconds is not really enough so if you just double click that you can increase that to let's say i don't know 500 we'll, we'll once we get it connected to the inmove we can mess around with these but this is just getting some text in here for the time being on the pause rather than the eyes. So we've now got the eyes forward. We wait um, five, um, half a second. Maybe we should increase that. But again, we'll, we'll um, try it with the eyes and see what it looks like. Uh, we can add on any of these particular commands here, we can add in a, a script. Which we looked at, I think, before. And you've got the cheat sheet scripts here, but we won't, we won't do that here um, for the second anyway. So we've now got all of those commands set in there. So uh, let's just save that. These will now appear here. I don't think this is going to work because, as I said, we're not actually connected to the, the EZB unit at the moment. Um, yeah, we're not going to see anything because we're not actually online. Um, but they, they are in there. 